So we're going to do some hands-on exercises here. And uh, for this one, a func string concatenation. Create a function that takes a string as an argument and then returns a string, which does this. Return hello, and then argument passed in of type string and exclamation point. So that's the first one. So I'm going to come over to my code and do that one. This will be 05. And I'll just kind of zero things out. And while that's zeroed out, I'm going to copy that a couple of times. 06. So I know we're going to have a couple. 07. 08, 09. Okay, so this is the 06 one, and this one's going to take in a value of type string, and it's going to return a string, and it's going to uh, return and font dot string print, and I want to do hello, and then the name, and uh, and then exclamation point. And strings print, if I look at that, spaces are added between operands when neither is a string. Well, I've got strings everywhere, so I need to add the spaces where I want them. And uh, what else? Hello, and then that, an exclamation. Returns a string. So that's one way I could have done it. Let's see, let's call it and see what happens and see if there's a slightly different way. And so foo, and I'm going to pa pass in Todd. And then I'm going to catch that and I'll just assign it to x. And then line x. And run it, and this is 05. Hello, Todd. So, could I have also done it this way? Return hello plus s plus exclamation. That also works. Okay, so either way, either of those work. The thump sprint line or sprint might be a little bit like what? But either of those work. So that's the first one. The next one is create a slice of int using a composite. Wow, that's a lot. That's like next week's topic. We're going to get into data structures. So let's just leave it with that last one. And then in the next video, maybe we'll do a little bit of a preview of what's coming.